And welcome to King welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. It actually, uh I had a little bug while recording this, so my first attempt, thankfully I only got through the first door to Halloween Town. I didn't go further, uh, because I would my audio in my headphones was desync from the visual, so I only went through one door. I didn't complete the level. So you can exhale that you can ex Hell that held breath. I'm back on Toonami. Yes, I had to make that Toonami reference. God, I still can't believe that thing's around. Like, it ended in 2007. I really didn't think they were gonna bring it. No, 2009. I really didn't think they were gonna bring it back. Well, it's Adult Swim now, but hey, back in the day, that was G. <laughs> Well, PG. Yeah, that's about it. In any case, the uh, enemies you will see here in Halloween Town are your basic Heartless, um, your air uh, gargoyles, actually, not hella kickers, uh, white knights, and I forget the last one. Oh, yeah, and the new en enemy variation, plants. I am not joking. Plants are your enemies now. What has this world come to? Actually, you know what? Probably should have brought this up in Sora section of the game. But heck, I still got time. The game is not over. Not well. I it not by a long shot. It's actually stretching it. It's actually close to being over. But um, any case, yeah. Actually, the GBA port of uh, Kingdom Hearts Reach in Memory? No, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Because actually, believe it or not, this game was not the original one. Hence the re. They had to remake it. Yeah, um, that the original GBA port was actually blew me away. Believe it or not, um, you can go on YouTube, look up like any kind of Kingdom Hearts Reach in Memories Part One. And you will see, like, the opening intro for this game the exact same way, just like in, uh, the GBA version. Without any voice acting, mind you, but, my god, that blew me away. It, it was just like Romance Dawn, oh my god, I'm gonna bring this game up a lot, but Romance Dawn and then actually showing cutscenes from the actual anime. You know, I, I knew that the 3DS could handle little cutscenes. But I just liked how they imported those high quality uh, uh, scene episodes, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, going back to the GBA before Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts is a series that's spread out over a crap load of consoles. I wish I was joking. I may have mentioned this before, but you got like. Kingdom Hearts 1, okay, good, that's on PS2. I'm pretty sure everyone had PS2 at the time. But then, the sequel, Chain of Memories, is on the GBA. Well, excuse me, I now I have to go purchase a GBA, which is like, I don't know, $200 at the time? And then, comes Kingdom Hearts 2, and it's back on the PS2. Okay, good, I have that. But now you realize that after that came Re-Chain of Memories, which put it back on the PS2, so getting in that GBA was absolutely pointless. And then, you got Birth by Sleep, which is all the way on the PSP, a system that I really, really could care less for. And, you know, I really feel bad for people who bought a PSP, because now it's coming out on the PS3 later on this year. But still. And then, you got... 358 and a half days and Dream Drop Distance and the other one uh Recoded. No wonder why it slipped my mind. I actually I think Recoded is a lot better than 358 and a half days, but it's still bad. It it tries too much is what I meant to say. <sighs> but still. It's a great. It, it's not the best series, but it's one that I enjoy the hell out of. 
And I know that there are indeed people who hate the series with passion. I'm not one of them. Because I don't look at plot. I only look at fights. No, I'm serious. That's what got me into shows like Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Naruto. The fights. I didn't care for the plot until I got a lot older. It was just fights. But, uh, well, that and the music. Ironically, during the time I got older, I was also getting into Final Fantasy. So... I, I think you know where that's going. In any case, as we open this door to the door to key to the, the plot... <laughs> yeah, spoiler warning, we're fighting Oogie Boogie. I'm the Oogie Boogie Man, whoa. Still like that song. It, it doesn't get old, that's what I love about it. Still waiting, actually did Nostalgia Critic make a um, Nightmare Before Christmas review? I'm going to look that up right now. <laughs> yep, right in the middle of this. Two of my computer wants to work. Ah, whatever. And it's been off and on all the night. Actually, all day, really. Any case, uh, it's time to take on this bag of bugs, Oogie Boogie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, my singing career is incredibly diminished since the time of my youth. <laughs> Back then, I used to. Be able to quote disturbed skillet, disturbed and skillet, disturbing skillets. <laughs> I don't know. It, it kind of ends after that. <laughs> Any case, Oogie's the exact same as last time. Use a crap ton of slides on him, and he won't be able to do anything. By the way, that little lightning thing that Riku does, I assume that it's like, oh, what? Okay, now that was cheap. That was flat out cheap. Okay. In any case, that little uh, lightning strike that Riku always does is like power up to the max. I guess you can call it. Mm, I don't. I really don't know, but uh, I guess that's what it is. All right, let's go <laughs> with Ferraga. All right, and have another one. Uh, this one's on the house, Ogi. It's about it took. It's about it took a friggin' eternity to do. Uh, whatever, at least I got nine starting off this time. So yeah, in case you were wondering, uh, Oogie's uh, section is the same as it was earlier. Uh, beat him in this card draw thing and the gates will lower and then you can mash and then you can beat the crap out of him. So yeah. He's the Oogie. I'm sorry, but it's too catchy. Ah. Okay, that one's catchy too, but it's heavy metal, so it has an excuse. Okay, it's metal rock in reality, but still. Heavy metal would be like Megadeth. God, who even remembers Megadeth? And not from the Dub Dodgers episode. Oh, but that was funny. It did give me a few laughs. If you forget where if you forget where you're playing in, just say thank you, Detroit! There's a 35% chance you'll get it right. <laughs> uh, even though it was a horrible spin-off, I did get quite a few laughs. Like the Million Dollar Man... Oh, my bad. Wazillion Dollar Duck episode. <laughs> and they're all running in slow motion. Uh. But, uh, in any case... Time to die. Oh, come on! Thanks, Riku! You wasted my Firaga! Okay, technically this is Firaga, but I'm the one who casted it! Thanks, Riku! You dragged this fight on for another few minutes. The last thing I needed right now. Dude. Okay, that one's also catchy. 
Okay, I know what to get to uh, label this part. <laughs> Catchy lyrics. What? <laughs> That's not funny at all. It really isn't, but uh, in any case, this bag of bugs is done for. Actually, it was done for, it's just that now I got... I didn't level up. Blasphemy! This is madness! In any case, I got the Yogi card. Hell if I know what it does, but, uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, we got the Dark Magician! The fuck it does? In any case, uh, let's go. Uh, there it is. Teeming Darkness. I could go to the door over there, but, uh... I'm not feeling it. Okay, apparently I am feeling it. I'm feeling the flaw. <laughs> Uh, that series got slightly better uh, the more I watched it, but... Yeah, the main character is uh, not as obnoxious as Jade and Yuki. Maybe even more, but... Uh... I've seen worse. I really have seen worse. Uh, time for some genocide? No, not really. Actually, is it really genocide if they're dead? No, that's a legitimate question. Is it really genocide if they're already dead? I guess it would be homicide if a monkey attacked another monkey just for a banana, but... Hmm, where am I going with this? <laughs> no, seriously, where am I going with this? Shoot, my computer froze. Oh, there we go. And now we are finally out. Um, hmm. No, if you heard that thump, ignore it. If you heard that rail moving, ignore it. <laughs> Actually, which other series do I lo know and love that? Hmm. Oh yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh too. Actually. Well, technically, Yu-Gi-Oh! may be a children's trading card game, but game-wise, I don't... <laughs> because screw playing children's kit trading card games in, lot in person, I could do that over the internet! <laughs> but no, um... Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! games are actually spread out all over systems. Like, I remember the original one for the Game Boy Color, then PS2, and now it's strictly PSP. Yeah. In any case, nobody let. I mean, num organization number five, uh, Lexium. I don't remember his name. Okay. Uh, Le Sanus, Leaxus, Leaxus. No. It sounds right. I know how it's spelled, but. Cast away your useless. Leaxus, I don't know. Uh, I, I think it's Leaxus. Kaioken! I don't know. You could pretty much mistake that scene. You know, that looks like something a Kira Toriyama should have used in Dragon Ball. It is Leaxus. Okay, good. But seriously, that looks like a scene that a Kira Toriyama should have used in Dragon Ball Z. And this guy fires with the most blunt object I've ever seen in a Kingdom Hearts game. Even more blunt than any Keyblade, than the Metal Chocobo in general. This guy fights with a, the ultimate battle axe. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. In any case, Leaxis. He controls the Earth. Yeah. As you can probably tell from constant Avatar watchings, uh, Earth is probably the most destructive element. Fire. Wind. Alright, well, it's still one of the most destructive. I mean, you can cause natural disasters like earthquakes and whatnot, and those things hurt. <laughs> no, I, th I just thought they'd be, you know, a little walk in the park. But, uh, yeah. So, I, Leaxis has control over Earth, if my memory serves me right. I actually think I'm gonna get hit with an Earth attack, actually, but, uh, putting that aside, um, he also hits very, very hard. And by very, very hard, I mean, he, he's alright. 
But I hit harder, so yeah. Yeah, but fuck yeah. But, um, actually, it. I, I already said this for Zexion, but if you played Birth by Sleep, you could also see Leaxis in his original form there, along with Organization Member 2, and. Oh, snap! Here comes the Earth Attack! Oh, holy. Oh! Rico, get out of there! <laughs> oh, man, I got rocked! No pun intended! Yikes! And. Yes, he is more of a threat than Vexen. Axel, he's not up to that level yet, because I just killed him. But, yeah, he's not Axel. And, by the way, Axel loves to teleport spam. A little bit late, but, yeah. But And all the Organization 13 members do not have to use cards to teleport spam. They just... That's their dodge move, basically. Actually, Kingdom Hearts 3. Teleport spam Axel. I need it. <laughs> Any case, let's raise our attack power. And now let's... Oh, sweet double prizes. Oh, okay. I really can't do that Toy Story voice. You're finished! Don't mock me! Yeah, seriously, Riku. You were going up about against a giant axe with a wing. What chance did you have? Oh god, he's turning into Dark Super Riku. I was about to say Sonic there. Sorry, I, I was getting into uh, Sonic X. God, that episode didn't make any sense whatsoever! And suddenly, Riku learned the power of instant transmission. Too slow. You Cause, the yeah. Ones. Forgive me, Zexion. This was a fight I should not have started. Well, that just happened. <laughs> Look, seriously, what? Okay, I get it. Like you didn't want to die and all, but. No. I see you now. Meanwhile, in the void, <laughs> Riku suddenly wakes up. Hello there. You will be staying here for all eternity. You know what? Actually, that line makes me think of XF. Period. Darkness, this foul could only, only be. Then all of a sudden you see Nick Fury pop out of the depths of darkness. I am... No, you see Samuel L. Jackson with an eye patch, basically. I'm sorry. I'm tactless, really. No offense to Samuel L. Jackson, even though I highly doubt he's watching this. When I have awoken, I will take hold. Ha! Uh, I've already played the other games. Just saying. Oh god, bad touch! Bad touch! <laughs> no, seriously, that's it, that's pretty much what that was. I'm sorry. Well, that just happened. Actually, can you all... Is this... It was at this point in the game where I'm just wondering, Dear God, please don't tell me Riku went into a coma the moment he stepped inside the castle. Because I wouldn't be able to tell where this guy was. Everything looks the friggin' same. Your Majesty? Where are you? Please answer! You're with me, aren't you? Riku, you're just talking to yourself now. 
It's like seriously, okay, granted he may be in, in your mind, but if you don't hear him, don't talk to him. Wow, my computer is really freezing up on me now. Lexius. I wonder who will be next. And I'm alone again. Oh thank god, company! I already took my pounding from Sora. He thinks I'm done for good. No, I think it'll be my Well, you're the one who took down Vexen, so you can probably take me down too, dude. I hope he moves exactly as his heart commands him to. So Why do I say that? Because I already played the game. Yes. We were going to set him off against the traitors. But with Martin, there is no more need. He is nothing but a nuisance now. And he's dangerous as well. After all, he took down Lexius. You know, that is not how I do things. Tell me, did you obtain the data on Riku's home? Yeah, that guy was built like a brick shit house. Still don't know what that is. It sounds cool, though. What? One of the senses died. A really strong one. Huh? For of this castle, Marluxia. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> now we now you see the castle just fly up. <laughs> actually, something I didn't mention in the first part. I actually, my first time playing this game, I thought what I was looking at was a rocket ship, Castle Oblivion. It's like what? The end and some shadow still nest within your heart. Do you plan to face Sora like that? No, I mean Ventus. He must oppose anyone who hosts the dark. In other words, Oh, you'll find out in the next if 20 you minutes. The words I say, then you had best see the truth with your own eyes. This card. This is our Yes. It is your home. Actually, it's not really Sora's destiny. I'm pretty sure the guy can, like, sleep for eight years and, you know, everything will be fine. <laughs> Spoiler warning, he dies! Okay, maybe for, like, four years, but still. Any case, now we get our... Home card? Well, alrighty then. See you guys in the next part. I am Aquablade100 signing out. After I get up on this safe point, I will see you guys in the next part. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and bye.